the Norwegian brown rat is a New York City icon. But for every pizza or cannibal rat to win over residents and YouTubers' hearts, there are another 250,000 to 2 million unfamous rodents the city could do without. The number is loose because rats are sneaky and they breed like rats. Fighting this brown scourge are the city health department and a group of people who own terriers. Under Mayor de Blasio, the city launched a $32 million initiative in the last year to rid New York of its signature rodents. Concentrating on hyper-infested rat reservoirs, such as this park behind me, the lion's share of this works falls on the city health department, whose own rat department is headed up by Ratspert Carolyn Bragden, with her team of rat inspectors, rat baiters, rat stoppagers, and rat harassers, all of whom we are about to meet and hopefully harass rats with. Why are rats a problem? We think of rats really as a quality of life um, issue. Rats are, are gross, you know, people don't want to go to the park and see rats. But there are also other concerns, you know, rats, they're nesting underneath a sidewalk, that sidewalk can cave in. If they're trying to get into a building, they could be chewing or gnawing or damaging um, the doors. So rats cause a lot of financial harm to New York City infrastructure. This summer, the city's health department has focused their efforts on the worst rat reservoirs, many of which are nestled in and around public housing projects. They go in between here, they're smart as they can be. They make these holes. They create their own they're big crazy, holes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's disgusting. Building off earlier initiatives, like the installation of over 400 solar-powered rat-proof trash cans, the city's rat reduction team employs a two-pronged approach to its job. Prong one is burrow harassment, which basically means stopping up or caving in visible rat holes so they have to find a new home. Prong two is just killing them, either by putting poison pellets in bait stations or just directly into their burrows, or more recently by using special raticidally formulated dry ice. Basically with dry ice, they're just gonna quickly and painlessly go to sleep. Go yeah. to sleep. It's like carbon dioxide. Yeah. Here we go. Night, night, ready. We're trying to knock them down enough so that they don't just rebound immediately. While the city does its rat work by day, another group of New Yorkers take to the streets at night to reduce the number of rats one foul beast at a time, or sometimes two. The Riders Alley Trencher Bed Society is a nocturnal hunting party of terrier owners and other small dogs who were originally bred to chase rats into their holes and bring them out dead. We're just right under the Williamsburg Bridge on the Lower East Side, and the hunt is just about to begin. Richard Reynolds has been part of this rodent death squad for over 30 years, and although their effect on the city's overall rat population is extremely negligible, it's a good workout for their dogs and it keeps their instincts sharp. When rats are cornered, they will run anywhere. Okay. All right, they will run up your pant leg. So to prevent that, we're going to duct tape your pant leg. I shouldn't just tuck my uh, pants into my socks, or? If I tuck my pants into my socks, that won't, that won't do the trick, or? No? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Now, do you guys do, are you, are you blooded after your uh, dog gets your first, uh, gets his first rat? I can't help but notice I'm the only one with duct tape around his cuffs. Thomas, yeah. this is Maz. Maz is a scent dog. You and Maz are gonna go right into the bags and he's gonna try to find a rat and push it out to the other dog. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, release the hound. Rat, 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 rat. There's a big warrant over there. There's like sometimes 30, 40 of them. I want everybody on leash until we're all set up and then we fucking blitz. There get it, get it, get it. Let's go, Oz. Oh. Got it? Shut 
fucked your ass right up, didn't it? <laughs> How does credit work? If, if Maz flushed it out but another dog caught it, is it a... It's a group, it's always group a group effort? effort. Oh, okay, yeah. good, okay, it's, it's a team a thing. Effort. You get it? Yeah. All right. Whoop, away you go. Yo, look at the size of this fucker. All right. Uh, oh, there's still, that one's still alive. It's all right. Get it, get it, get it. That's alive too. Finish it. Well, this one really won't, doesn't count because it's Prager's. Right, two more. Somebody said, don't you wear gloves? And I said, no, but I try not to chew my fingernails anymore. <laughs> oh, what a good job you have. <laughs> Here, get the Capesa Crunch, watch. There you go. There you go. That's how we do it Queens, New York style. Drop it. Well done. Thank you very much. Everybody likes the rat angle, but we're really here for the benefit of the dogs. This is what the majority of the dogs were bred for. It's what they like to do. And if we kill some rats along the line, we're, we're better off. You know it's a good night when the dogs stay still for this long. Yeah. Real talk. No walking, no bullshitting. 